Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can have two characters carrying on a conversation inside of Toonly. Now I've gone ahead and set up my Toonly interface here. So let's just step through and see what I've done. So this is how I've set up my workspace. I have a background, so that's this graphic designer background here. Now I like to set up my background so that they appear instantaneously. So I've disabled entrance and exit. I just right clicked to get access to these tools here and then click again on the timeline to hide the tools. I've got two pieces of text here for person one and person two, just to make it easier for you to see what's going on. So that's just the label that I would delete later on. I've got my audio track already in place. I recorded that outside of Toonly. It was saved as an MP3 file. I went to the audio area and I uploaded my audio. And then when I found it, I just typed in Toonly to find my audio and then I dragged it onto this default area. Now when I was recording it, I was really careful because I wanted to show you clearly how things are working to make a gap between each piece of speech, although somebody is going to speak a long piece in a minute. But the first person to speak is going to be person one and these are the people on the timeline. So this is person two at the top and this is person one at the bottom. Now the audio indicates that person one is speaking. So I need to set person one up so that they're lip synced to the track. So I'm going to right click on them here and in the lip sync box, this is the new box that appears on a number of characters. It's not on this one, so we're going to see that in a minute. And here I went and just selected the Toonly audio as the lip sync one. Before I go any further, let me just show you that I had all of these characters set up to instant appearance. That's going to be really important because you don't want your character to disappear after they've spoken and then reappear again later on. You probably want them just to be in a consistent position. So I've set them both to instant on in effect and out effect. And that's going to make it easier to set up this whole thing in a minute. So let's just see what we've got right now. This is person one talking. And now this is... Okay, so we've got the lip sync working for person one, person two does not have lip sync, that's fine, they're not talking and everything stops immediately person one has talked. So what we're going to do next is to add these people back in again. So I'm going to click here on this plus sign and I'm going to select lip sync for this character because she is going to be lip synced now. And now for character one, I'm going to click on the plus sign and I'm just going to set them to be idle because they're going to be idle while the other person is talking. And I want to stretch them out so that they appear until the end of the piece of conversation. So at this point, now we need character two to take over talking. Let's see how we're going. We're going to start in the middle of character one's conversation. One talking. And now this is person two. Okay, so that's not working. Let's just make sure that we've set them up to the track, which I didn't. So if they're not talking, you want to just make sure that you've got them set up for the track. Let's try that again. This is person one talking. And now this is person two talking. Okay, now I have to get person one to talk again. So I'm going to click here on the plus sign, but I'm going to choose idle for them because remember that they're a character that has this more complex box. So let's go up here and we'll add lip sync to them at this stage. Okay, they're both idle and lip synced. And we're going to add another instance of character two. In this case, they're going to be idle because they're not talking at the moment. And we're going to stretch them out. Not sure quite where character one finishes talking, but we'll just check that with the audio track. So when I click play now, this character here should be talking. Now person one is talking again. This time they're talking a little bit more. And now this is person two talking. And again, okay, so I've got character one talking, then two, then one, and now we're going to switch over again. So I click the plus sign and this character is going to be lip synced. And this character is just going to be idle. We'll stretch it out to the end of this piece of conversation. Let's make sure that the lip sync is set up 
When you do this, you want to make sure that you have the playhead over the lip sync part of the track. If you try and set it up here, you're going to be setting up the idle and not the lip sync. So just be aware of that. You need to be in that part of the conversation to be able to set it up properly. Let's click on lip sync. Let's just make sure that this character is pointed to the track that we're working with. This character should not be pointed to anything. They should just be idle. Let's test it. Character one's going to talk, then two, then one, then two. Person one, talking. person one talking. And now this is person, two, this talking. Is person two talking. Now person one is now talking again. Is talking this time again. they're talking a little bit more. And now this is person and two talking. And again, they're talking, talking a little bit more too. And here we have person one talking. And now all we have to do is to switch back to person one talking and turn off person two. So we're going to click here to create another instance of person two so that we can set them up to do what it is that they should be doing, which is just standing and listening. And here this is person one and they need to be talking. But remember that we've got different options for them because their dialogue box is very different. And I'll just make sure that I stretch these out full width. You don't have to worry about somebody talking over an empty spot on your audio track. This is a flat spot on the audio track. Nobody's talking. But Toonly smart enough to know that there's no sound on the audio track. So the mouth doesn't move unless there's actually sound. I'll right click them and you can see that they're idle. And while they're idle, I'm going to have them lip syncing to our conversation. With this older interface, you can only be something. You can only be idle or lip synced, but you can't be both. With this newer interface, it's a little bit confusing because while somebody might be idle on the timeline, they could also be lip synced at the same time. So you will want to check your track really carefully before you actually go and encode it. I'm just going to run through this one more time. This is person one talking. And now this is person two talking. Now person one is talking again. This time they're talking a little bit more. And now this is person two talking. And again, they're talking a little bit more too. And here we have person one talking. So now that I've got my people stable on the timeline and I know that they're talking correctly, I could go ahead and remove these pieces of text because I don't need them any longer. Everything is perfectly all right and I'm ready to go ahead and encode this. So basically what you want to do is make sure that you set up your characters with no entrance or exit effects and then just add them in little bits according to what your audio track looks like. Of course, the cleaner your audio track is with more spaces in between the individual pieces of conversation, the easier it is for you to work out exactly what's going on. And you get a lot of space in which to have this sort of join between a character that is talking and a character that is not talking. You might also find it useful to sort of label your characters one and two or Jim and Bill or whatever it is so that you can be really clear about who's talking at what point. And when you finish with everything, then you can just remove those little text indicators that are helping you sort of monitor what's going on. Short answer is yes, you can add people having a conversation in Toonly. It just means breaking everything up into little pieces, but that's how you do it. I hope this video has been of help to you. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.